Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first episode, of season two of Scavengers. Now, if you're not familiar with the rules from season one, I will explain everything for you right now. Now, it is similar to the Red Riches series in the sense that we take everything in our inventory and we completely delete it and get rid of everything. The difference is, is that instead of using our PMC at the beginning, we use nothing but our scavengers or our scavs. Now the plan is, and the goal is, is to work as much as possible with the scab before we even touch the PMC. Last season what we did was, we went through all the hideout, upgraded as much as possible, which was roughly around like level 5 is where we found ourselves for our PMC to actually hit. More on that later of course, but around that time we were able to get everything leveled up to the point that we could. This season we're going to be doing the exact same thing. There are some changes. It's probably going to take us a little bit longer because of the fact that they did change up some of the rule sets. You have to basically work on a little more of the vents and a few other parts before you can actually unlock the gym. So we'll have to do that before we can actually start leveling up our character with the skills and also with XP. That will come relatively a little bit later on, but we'll still make it happen. So what's going to happen is we're still going to work on everything today that we can to try to level up as much as possible with the hideouts and collect as many items as possible for the future for our PMC. The point is, is that we try to go through, collect all the in-game raid items needed to turn in for quests. And we're also trying to gear up our PMC. Once we hit level five, we take our PMC out for our first raid. We go unlock Jaeger and we move on from there. After level five, every two levels, we're able to use our PMC. But until then, it is time, ladies and gentlemen, to get moving along with our scab and get into our first raid. Are you ready? All right, we're in. Let's take a look what we got. Okay. Now, the one thing I didn't uh, discuss while we were inside the menu screen, so I figured we'd just get into raid and continue moving. That's a gas analyzer. Nice. I will right, we'll take that. Is that we discussed about using the PMC during the series, but the one thing I forgot to mention during that whole uh, situation was that last season we only used our PMC like for one raid, and then we moved on back to the scab. Now, that is going to be the case for level 5, just so we continue working on hideout and whatnot and getting up to levels. But after level 5, every two levels, we'll be running our, our PMC at least for three raids after unlocking him. That way we can continue moving forward. And that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. Now, as far as the leveling goes, some people may not be aware of how this works. We have a couple different ways of leveling, and the majority of it is by consuming food. And we do this by two ways. The beginning is we pretty much lower our, our water, get it back with the energy, and then we kind of go back and forth until we gain a little bit of XP back and forth. Uh, actually, we do. Actually, I'm going to take this helmet off because it's a little, a little hard to hear. The other thing we do as well is by the gym. What we do is we, we work out as much as possible, lowers our water and energy, and of course, we do the same thing. We eat and we drink and we get the XP from that as well. And of course, if we complete certain tasks that we can turn in items such as like the gas analyzer, Stuff like that will give us some XP as well. Uh, where else can we do some looting? Actually, this probably isn't the best place. Let's go back up. Go back up. We're collecting everything for pretty much all the level one areas for... Oh, I forgot this. For the hideout. So that's what we're focused on right now. Don't need that. So I need... We pretty much need to hit up as many of the cabinets as possible. So we're going to head that direction. Let's see what we got here. I also need to make sure that I'm collecting food, collecting drinks and all that, so we can work on the XP early on. So we'll be doing that as much as possible as well. But there's a lot of things for us to be doing. Now, there are a couple of food stores that we could also go visit while we're on streets, but for right now, I think we're going to focus on getting the cabinets, and then the second raid will focus on collecting food. Start working on the early XP. If I can find, like, sailor was and stuff, that will help us out as well. So then we can do the first therapist ass and turn that in as like, early as possible. And of course, the great thing about this place is there's about a million cabinets that we can search. Okay, we'll end up taking the mall out. Mall is probably the best way to get out of this map. Keep an eye out for players. If we see them, take them out. Very rainy day, though, for us. Which should help you, you know, conceal the movement and whatnot. Let's start over here. And then we can move our move the direction that way. There is one building I like looting and it's over this direction. Let's 
to even. Let's go up here. We can also search for some PC parts and whatnot, try to get some good money out of them if we need to. Uh, PC, PSUs and stuff like that, we're probably not going to take early on. Let's see what we can find. We've got fleece, which we will technically speaking need. So pretty much anything that is platter related, we're going to take early on. It's one of the drinks that we can take. Let's try not to eat or drink anything before we get out. Although it would be nice to start working on metabolism for the scab as well because we do need to do that but we'll we'll hold off for the time being and probably like three or four raids in we'll start working on that let's start our little search we need matches uh we need lighters so we have a bunch of things on our task list to grab we don't have a lot of room so i have to be careful what i grab probably end up dropping a lot of these mags the guy duct tape we'll need that for later on Keys aren't necessarily very useful for us in this series, so we're not going to be like focusing on that right away. Down the line, when we get started to work on the PMCs or, work, or go out on raids with them, then we can start looking at collecting those. But for the time being, we, we really don't need those. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that would be said, if I can grab a little bit of money too, we're going to need a multi-tool as well. So we'll, we actually will need to grab something that's worth a little bit of cash. Come on, give me some matches. Give me everything you got. A lot of different options for us here. Gas station office key. Mm, no. Now, if it's a t if it's a key that's on the actual map we're on, then we will go visit it. Because that is a little bit worth doing. As long as it's a good key. Parmen 8, I know is not good, so we're not grabbing that. Yeah, we're moving on. All right, so we'll go to the next building. Yeah, as long as the keys are worth it, and I know that there's a potentially, you know, good loot inside, then we'll grab the key. So it's inside the bag. We're gonna get broken LCD. Don't need that. I'm looking out for bolts, some screw nuts, a bunch of other stuff too. Pick that for now. I also need a construction tape too, which is also why I'm checking a lot of the, oh, the toolboxes if we pass them up. So like the door has been open. Not sure this has been looted or not, but we'll see. ES lamp. We'll, we'll need those later on, but not the moments. Would be nice if we got a bigger, like, bag to work with, but it's fine. More broken LCDs. Empires. I think diaries will end up taking because diaries will sell pretty good over defense. Boards, not the moments. And anything really like that's a one slot. Like the GPX will definitely sell for good money. Cool. We see one more screw nut. I know everyone says just call it nuts, but it's called screw nut. Uh, we're gonna need that as well for the generator. We're gonna need bolts, so we'll just keep grabbing those. She just dropped these other mags. We got 20 rounds to work with. Give us what we need, please. Another good money source right there. Because we're gonna need the GPXs for, for some type of money. We'll, we'll need the broken ones for tasks later down the road, but for now we can just sell these things. SAS drive will sell for good money. This room is or this building, I should say, is very good for cabinets. You can pretty much go through this whole map and have just a plethora of cabinets to go through and you pretty much always find something. But most people are going for like the high loot areas that are in some of these buildings that are actually close by to us. But for what we're doing at the moment, high valuable items aren't actually even worth it for us because we have to build a system. We need to build that hideout out so we actually have success to level up our PMC without actually bringing them into raids. You know, I always thought like this was a possible task to do, and which is why we did it for season one. And season one just showed like, hey, you can actually do this. You can build all these things up. So we know it's possible, and we're gonna make it happen. In there, we'll drop the F1 grenade. 
I'm also hoping for a possible chance of finding int intelligence in here because you can find intelligence. There's the other screen up we need. Nice. You can find intelligence inside of cabinets as well. We need a single one to get started with the intelligence center at some point. I would love to get that because that also does a couple things for us. It makes sure that our rate timer is a lot lower. It goes down from like 25 minutes to like, oh gosh, I think it was like, like 18 or, or 19. I'm actually going to drink this. We'll worry about the food later. We'll just drink it up right now. Does it keep us going? We'll take the screw nuts with us. If I can find a couple dead people, we'll we'll take their backpack and their uh, the rig. Zippos we don't need at the moment, but we will later. Uh, I'm gonna. I feel like I'm gonna say it a lot. There's a lot of things that are gonna be needed for later. Iron gates actually a really good key. That's in the building behind us. Little side house. Surprised we're not finding any matches. It's like one of the number one things I usually find inside these places, and it's kind of weird they're not finding them. We go check out the iron gate, actually. There's the measuring tape we need. Police, we'll have to get you again. Let's just, yeah, we'll, we'll have to come back to the police. Now we need matches. If I can find some matches, that would make this run very, very good. There's that we needed. We are getting a lot of stuff. Maybe going into the high dense areas with players is maybe not a good idea. And when I'm talking about the Iron Gate area, but it's in the more like looted up area, which is in front of us that direction. But more that whole apartment complex. Yeah, let's be smart about this. Let's be smart for the first raid. But I will take the key because that is actually a very useful key for us down the line. We can get different types of stims. We have a whole bunch of different options for that key because it unlocks like three, four different areas. So we will definitely take that for now. A lot of shooting. I don't see any dead players or scabs yet. We'll keep an eye on the form, of course. Like he's a bit looted, but we'll just triple check anyway. Oh, maybe he hasn't. Got security rig, which is smaller than what we got. Take the gun. He did have good ammo on him, but we don't need the ammo at the moment. Defuel. No, we're not gonna take those either. A lot of defuel though. Holy camoli, that's a lot. All right, let's check these quickly and see if we can find the matches. If we can find the matches, we'll take those as well. I could drop the extra bolts that we got. But I think this will be the last set of cabinets. If we don't find it here, we'll get out and start upgrading what we can. Energy is also getting low too, so it's probably a good idea. There's key for Kappa, but we don't need that. Strikes. Yeah, there's a chance we're not going to find this run. Horrible cabin key. And nothing we need there. Horrible cabin key, though. I will actually take that because we won't have access to the flea marker right away and if we make it to that task we'll have the key ready at least which will be nice so we'll take that and we'll go through this room here got bleach bpm on money all right it is time to head to the exit especially since i haven't seen any dead bodies so there's no reason to keep looting i'm just dropping items for another item Apparently, I was too close to that fire. It didn't seem like it, though. <laughs> All right. Did not realize that fire did that much damage from being that far away. Just keep passing by. We got to get inside the mall, second floor. Cross it here. We 
check the dead body. Sometimes the dead body actually has a rig on him. If it does, we can do a little bit more looting through here. He does not. Oh. I need that though. Might as well get the soap early because I need soap, toilet paper. Uh, we also need to get the owl, I think it's called. And then we also need toothpaste as well. And a bunch of money because we're going to need that for getting the lavatory upgraded. Which is important because that's going to have certain items that we can craft that we're going to need for the future. All right, let's get down to the stairs here. And our exit. Nice. Good amount of stuff for us, and we can get a couple of the upgrades going already, which is very, very nice. We'll take that every single time. I know you guys like to see some of the stats, so I guess I'll show some of the stats here at the end. I thought there's really anything to show too much, just pretty much that we survived. Our scab got some XP, which I'm gonna guess like 800. Oh, 1400. Nice. That's probably all the new finds. Let's get everything dropped off. And we do take everything because then we can sell the rigs. Certain rigs we'll keep for space for later on. Half mass is for a task later on. And that's all we need. Before we get started on the hideout, we need to actually sell a couple items. So we'll come here, we'll sell the phones. It's 20,000 each, which is really, really good. I could probably even sell the Keck Take. We do need that for an upgrade coming soon, but we'll make a little bit of money off of that. Let's also sell the SS Drive, make some more money from that. And we'll also sell all of the equipment. There we go. Guns, we won't need any of these guns anytime soon, so we'll sell this one. And just keep our money, we'll just sell the bell? The rifle bell. Uh, we'll sell this over to uh, to Fence here. And we got our first amount of XP. We got 0.21. That seems to be going up a lot faster than it was before. I kind of like that. I don't think I could sell the knife to anyone but Fence at the moment. Yeah, we'll just sell the knife, just get rid of it. All right, let's go over to the hideout now. We got security. Get that constructed. Go over to events. Only cost 25,000 for you. We can get generator up and reach 100,000. Let's see how much I can work with here first. Still have enough money. How much money do we have in total? We have 130,000, this is good. We can get the generator up and running as well. No fuel, of course, but we'll get there. That also unlocks the rest area for us. So we need to grab a duct tape now, grab matches for that one. We need two matches for the heating area. Med station is a little more complicated, but we will get most of the stuff I'm hoping on the next run that we're going to about to do. Water collector, we're going to need a ton of items as well. In lavatory, we're also going to need a few more items in that one. And we can also do the fire range early on. I'll keep an eye out for this because this is not bad. These are, these are very easy to find. How much money do we have left? We have 30,000. I think that's enough. Let's come down here. It is definitely enough. Let's get the multi-tool. Let's go back to the hideout. Come to the workbench here and we'll get that constructed as well. And a bunch of different items we can start crafting, which would be nice because we can work on our hideout XP from that one as well. So we're looking good. We're looking very, very good. The fact that we got a gas analyzer on our first is amazing. I'm very happy to see that. Light bulbs, wires, all those fun things are going to come into account. Nutrition, I think it's salt. Okay, so yeah, we can also start looking for all these items as well. Very good, very good. I'm very happy with that first run. We'll do a little sort. Not as much to sort, but we got everything right there. Let's head out. We're going to head out to our next location. I think we're going to go reserve next. We have a lot of options over there to look through. So let's head over to reserve. Let's see what reserves got for us today. First of all, let's see what we got. Hey, we got some food. I am not going to need any of these extra shots because I'm using a Taz. <laughs> we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, plan right now is going to be doing the same thing. Check the cabinets to see if we can get the rest of the remaining items needed from them. We're also going to check the medical crates and also the medical building to see if we can find the items we need to upgrade the med station. Should be good. And of course, we need to see if we can find any dead bodies. Gonna guess we're gonna find most of the dead bodies down below, so we'll check there, of course, and see what we can come up with. But before that, let's we'll see what we can find. I would like to start collecting the rations as soon as possible, but I can see that not working out. But we do have a lot of items we need we do need to grab. There's the syringe we needed. 
which is good. I think these both are going to be the rations. We'll just grab, we'll, we'll grab a couple. If we need to drop them, we'll drop them. Got some herring, all that fun stuff. I'll leave the other box for the other guy. Because again, I, I need to grab food early on for XP, but at the same time, we got a lot of time. So let's see what we can find in here. I need vitamins. So if I can find vitamins, that'd be a big win for us. Here. Is the door open? Door's not been open, so there's a good chance this hasn't been looted. Check the floor. Check the box. Nothing on the stretchers. And the cabinets are empty. But we need to just ship, we'll check everything, see if we can get our hands on it. Ooh. That's a crush can. That is not anything we need. <laughs> nothing on any of the shelving units, nothing on there. Maybe upstairs? Let's go take a look. Okay, so someone did go through here. But people do miss things, so I like to always just triple check. Check the next room. Oh. Don't need the bandage. We need a regular bandage, but we can just buy that from therapist. So it's not a huge deal. They did check the last room because this is normally closed. Nothing on the ground, nothing in the shelves. All right, let's go to the basement. See what we can find over there. There are also a couple of med crates in the, the bunker area, so we'll check that as well. Nothing on the shelves. What do we got on the ground here? Anything? Doesn't look like it. I don't see a med box either. All right, let's go down to the tunnels then. These first couple episodes always seem to be like, at least from last season, end up being a lot of searching of cabinets, but that's just kind of the premises of where you find these certain, certain specific items that you need. You know, you gotta do it. And that's where the stuff's located. So you search it, search it, search it. Guess we can start just grabbing things for the search XP one off for a scav. Alright, just a scav. I thought it was a... I had to double check to make sure it wasn't a raider. Check the tech box. I think I need one more of those. I may not, but I'm going to take it anyway, just in case. Should be the med crate here. Don't need that. Don't need you. I need you, though. And this should be another, another... Oh, it's a rations case. I don't think anything's usually in here. Yeah. That one I've always found to be completely empty. No bodies. It's a bit peculiar. What about inside the actual generator room? Check the toolbox here as well. Bolts, good. Don't need that. Oh, we got a dead body. Very nice. Yeah, swap it out. Take the helmet. Take this. Armor's completely trashed, so we're not going to grab that. Yeah, let's start our search. Should be able to find, like I said, majority of the items. Oh, these may have already been searched. Yeah, because they're popping out weird like that, so it means someone's already searched these. Bigger backpack, nice. And a, actually, a, I think that rig is bigger. So we'll take, actually, keep all this in there. Was it three, six, nine, twelve? Okay, no. Doesn't save a space. I'll take it for now. Because then we can sell the, the duffel bag for some money, too. It's two, four, six, eight. Let's drop that. Drop all this. Wear it. Not wearing it for the armor, of course. Take the knife. Well, we already got, we already got a knife. We're good. Got another dead guy over here. Take the gun. Respirator we're going to need for later on. Scenes. Did they search these? They did. That's kind of unfortunate. Someone's searching the boxes out there. Did they search these? Oh, I don't think they did. You can tell, like, when you get into a raid as a scav, whether or not someone searched it, because they do this weird, like, pop out motion. And it, it pretty much means they've been open, so you don't have to search them. There is also the case that. You know, you'll be searching 
like while in range and they, they typically are open if you're within like the certain vicinity it's got two extra slots we'll put those in there power bank we can sell what else you got for us a lot of usbs i'm gonna need, i'm gonna need those matches dark off if you got them see the salt we need so we need to get two rel relays and we also need to get a cable to get the nutrition center up and running search all these g phone it is a collecting item but we'll end up selling it for now or dropping it we'll see and we got some more screws and i don't really need screws at the moment either but take it all nope Let's take it all for the time being oh we got even more okay got nothing he's got the same duffel bag pack uh Nothing that we want. Let's go see if they searched any of this. They did not. Good. Give us more chances for stuff. Hunting matches will actually come up soon, so I need to start grabbing those. I do believe I need two, so maybe I'll go back and grab the other one we saw earlier. T plugs. We do need those later on, but we're not going to grab them for right now. Measuring tape, we're good. I don't remember if I checked the second one or not. So we're gonna triple check. We already got one of those. I'm, I'm, yeah, we didn't even search it. I'm quite certain we don't need any of the crickets anymore. The lighters should be done, but I will just keep it on us just in case. Matches are the biggest thing we're gonna need right now. So we'll keep searching for those. Oh, we got more stuff here. I just realized that we got armors up right next to us. So the pack, got another micro rig. Not worth it. We aren't done with the cabinets though. We do have the Black Knight's got a ton and also the White Knight's also got some cabinets too we can check. Because I want to see if we can get luck and get some stuff out of this. Check this. Cool thing is we got a Taz. That's one of the tasks we're going to need for um, Skier down the line. We've got 14 minutes left. Enough time to get more searching done. Let's go upstairs. So we'll start heading over towards the Black Knight. What are our exits? I should check that. We get checkpoint fence will be the closest, so we'll take that. And of course, we could take the train, but I think it's going to leave before we actually finish up here. Check along here because we do get some tech that drops. Ooh, and you know what? I wonder if they checked this, the second floor. Second floor has got a like an area where we can. Hope for some tech spawn, so we'll check there. No, it doesn't look like they've checked it. Nothing in the blue barrel, nothing on there. Very chan low chance of like spawn here, but check it anyway. Spark plug, we're good. We don't need those right now. Okay, so that area is done. There are some cabinets actually in this building we could check. There's some here, and then also on the first floor. Ammo says T ammo. Now, when it comes to uh, like player scavs and whatnot, we try not to kill them. If they do obviously shoot at us, we can fire back and try to take them down, take their loot. But players, if there's a map like we're on right now where we can use an extract with extract an extract with them, we will attempt to do that for sure. It's just good practice to do because you get a ton of uh, like fence rip for doing it. So I, I try to make a habit of making of making do with that here if that worked not everyone works with you but you just kind of incentivize them I'm like hey you get a reward i get a reward for this we might as well work together make some little bit extra xp for this let's do it and usually they say yes not always but sometimes they do another metal part we'll need more for the future too and of course the big thing we'll be looking for is scheduling boxes scheduling boxes will be on our list of things to grab or to purchase i should say not grab because we'll need eh, two or three of them i'd say it is a very long process to do what we're doing, but it's definitely worth it. But it's a fun experience. It's, it's different than what, you know, you would typically normally do with, with these type of like run. Like when you're playing Tarkov, you don't play like this normally. So when you experience, it's like it's, it, it's a different feeling and it's it's fun. At least to me it is. And it seems like a lot of you enjoy it as well. 
So we'll go Black Knight first, see if we can find some dead scabs over here, as well as some possible good things inside the cabinets. And I just thought about this too, and I'm sure someone's already commented this down below. Um, we are also not going to, like if it's a new key, we're not going to identify it right away. We're going to wait till we get out of the raid because that is extra experience towards our PMC. Duct tape, I need you. And I thought about that as soon as we ended up uh, like searching the first one, I was like, nope, this is a dumb idea. I need to save this. And I didn't. Let's see if someone check these. AA hey, hey, battery. Apollos. What else you got for us? Okay, we'll save that key. It's the only like negative side is like I want to use the keys on the scav runs, but at the same time it is good XP. I mean, it's not a ton of XP, but it is a decent amount of XP for especially early on for a PMC. So we might as well hold on to them. Check these. More screws. Where are all the matches? The matches are like avoiding us at the moment. And more cigarettes. Nice thing is like the armor and stuff will work out great for us when it comes to making a little bit of money. More cigarettes. Cigarettes for days. Another power bank. This may be just a run to make some money, I guess. We are not finding what we're looking for. Now, when we get over to the White Knight, we'll check the computers because we can find ourselves the... There's the other hunting match I need. We can go over there and attempt to find the cord, uh, the cord we need, and then all we need is the relays for that for the next part. The hunting match, but I only need two. We'll come up here and check this room as well. Give us some good stuff, please. More screws. I feel like I'm getting better luck on streets when it comes to cabinet loot, but I'd rather change it up because if, if I'm running the same map over and over and over, I feel like some people may get kind of bored of that. Granted, I've, I've been saying this for a while, but I think you could honestly make a, a series on a single map only and make it really interesting and po possibly kind of double it as like a like a like a map guide as well. I've had that in my thoughts for a while there. Maybe I'll ever, you know, I'll run something like that in the future, but yeah, I, I wanna I wanna switch it up a little bit here and there. Go different places, enjoy the different maps that we got, obviously. Cord. No oh, paper. Come on, we need that cord. We need those matches. Let's make it happen. Think. With getting the metal parts, we should be able to get the, the fire range up and running at least. Drop the nails, take the diary. We get eight minutes to get across the way. Because we need to check those comp Ooh, he's computers on this side. What am I saying? Computer room is over here. There are computers on the other side, but this is the computer room. Now all we need is just one cord. Please, oh please. There it is. Drop the medical. Toss this and this. Whoop. I'll give it back. Take the cord. We'll just triple check, see if there's anything else we can get. Maybe a cheeky graphics card. No, no, no. All right, we've got pretty much all the steps that we need for that. If we get lucky, we can get the relays as well. But I think. We're gonna get more chances for relays inside of toolboxes. Interchange would probably be the best map for us to go early on. So we'll most likely, you know, go there next. Hey, there's one of the matches. Very nice. Okay, we got seven minutes. We got more than enough time to search the other side and then we will head out of here. But we gotta get over to the checkpoint fence and it's just over to our left here. Nothing on the desk there. Go, go, go. We did find dead bodies, but unfortunately, the dead, the dead bodies had nothing we needed. 
check all these. Oh, some duffel bags in here. Balaclava. What you got? Screw nuts. Drop those. Take those. There's some more matches. Very nice. Drop this. Take that. Try to be very precise on grabbing these things because we got a loot and scoot. Loot and scoot. Let's check this one as well. Some more duct tape, huh? We can drop. ES lamp for now. We'll take more duct tape. This one's got a toolbox and also has got some cabinets we can check. Helix. Measuring tape. Okay. okay. I think we got enough time to search these cabinets and the one upstairs as well. And then we got to kind of book it towards the exit. That is. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to search that. <laughs> It's not a cap item. That's fine, though. No, we'll actually take it. We'll drop the, the weapon parts. We'll need those later. Eh, grab them. We have we have enough items to make money right now. It's fine. I'm going to deb be debating with myself for a while now. Like, should I take this? Should I take that? Triple check this one. Okay, we'll leave that for later. ES lamp. Okay. Check over here. There's a toolbox over here normally. Not today though, of course. Let's check this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Toothpaste. Need you. Uh, we're gonna drop um, power bank. We're gonna drop power bank. Pick toothpaste. And then all that leaves now is the uh, the AWL. The all? All is what it's called, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Check this tape. We're definitely gonna have to go over to interchange after this, I think. Yeah, because we've got some options to find some stuff over there. More tape. Come on, come on. Nothing there. What about in here? There's no bag in this one. Bit scabs. Quickly. I can make this work. Drop this. Take the armor. Take that. That's cool. That's items for the task completed for skier in the future. We got a little more room. We'll, just, we'll loot some stuff on the way out. I'm going to go grab one thing, though, since we have the extra space. I think it's number two. Or number one. There it is. The item I did not mean to, to actually identify. <laughs> it's worth some money, so I might as well take it early on. We can keep the funds going so we can keep upgrading stuff inside the hideout. Got ammo. There should be some bags along the way. Nothing. Bag. Power bank again. Contemplating if I should hold on to the extra helmet or not, or just drop it. I mean, it'll make us some money, but I'm wondering if, like, early on, I should just drop it and grab some other items. But it's not like it's detrimental. We still got a lot of time to work on progression. No bags in here. I wanted to move this, this way a little faster because there are a couple more cabinets we can check on the way. It's a map. We'll need that as well. Now, that map is usually available. Like later on, like all the time through fence, you can pretty much buy it from at any time. But it costs like ninety three thousand rubles to do it. Not that it's not not that it's a huge deal. We can always like buy it because we'll have a, we'll have a ton of rubles at all times during this this uh, these runs, I should say, or this series, I should say. Nothing. Drop the ammo. I'm hoping for one more match. Yeah, if I can get one more match, this would be good. VHS, maybe? I don't remember what that is. 
I think, yeah, I think it's the VHS tape. Got a minute 30. It takes about seven seconds to exit, so we got to keep an eye on that time while I'm searching this. Salt, we already got. Another key. Metal parts. And bolts. Let's get rid of the wrench. We'll need the wrench for later on for the nutrition center, but the bolts we need early on before that. So we'll take those instead. All right, let's get out of here. Good amount of stuff. I'm actually very happy with that. We can at least get the the heating area leveled up and we're almost ready to get the laboratory up and running too. I think we'll have a really good chance at interchange. So we'll take a look at that afterwards. Scab probably got like 2,000 XP. Oh, almost 2,000. But still, very good progress there. We'll drop all the stuff. I think the Zook I'm going to hold on to. I don't think I'm actually going to sell that one. Drop all of you off. Boom, boom, boom. Drop all these. Cool. There isn't a lot for us to do here in the lobby, but I'll just get it done now. That way it's all set and done. We will sell all these parts except for the respirator because we don't want to sell that. I think that's everything. Make 53,000 on that one. I can sell that over. Will you take this? No, I have to sell it over. I don't want to spend the money on anyone else, so we'll just sell it over to Fence for now. We can go back over to our character and identify these for the XP. It's 10 XP each time. And we can sell the diary and a few other items over to fence. Boom, boom. Sell you, sell you, sell you. Now, I know Peacekeeper, I want to actually level up at some point. But for right now, I just want to sell these items off and just make the money. Anything else I want to sell? I'm going to... Eh, might as well end the, the broken G phone. We got enough money now. Let's go over to the hideout now because we can work on the shooting range and also we can get the heating upgraded. So there's two more upgrades for us, which is nice. Go over here. Get this constructed. Gonna have to find one more uh, match for this. A few more items for sure. Because we found the syringe. Now we got to find the rest of these items. Lavatory is pretty much there. Now we just need to find this all which is almost there. Get the shooting range up and running. That's going to take an hour. Okay. I think we're good. So looking okay. So we got five screws. We need to get four more screw nuts, one more duct tape, and we need to find four hoses, which is why we're going over to Fair Place Interchange. So let's head out. Let's go look for it. I well, wasn't expecting to get a sniper rifle for this run, but we got one. And we got a lot of space. We got a T20 backpack, which is great. We're actually going to start on this side and we're going to move our way backwards towards Ollie. But I need to check the back of the mall because there's a good chance we'll find the items that we need. We got spark plug. Don't need your no. So it turns out I actually do need a couple more lighters. I need two more. And then I also need to find three D fuel. Also need the WD-40 for the security. Now, a lot of these upgrades, unfortunately, are going to cost us some things that we don't uh, have access to at the moment. Uh, it's, the biggest thing is endurance. So we're going to have to do what we did last season, and that is to get the gym unlocked. Now, the only way we're going to be able to do that, though, is we got to get some other upgrades finished. Because there are other ones that are blocking us from making that happen. They changed up the whole system, and like to change us up, they didn't change a lot, but they did change up a few systems here and there. So we'll have to make do with the changes and see how we can make the progress. Take that for some money. There's one to relays we need. Got one of two boxes there. We're gonna need this for later for some crafting. Especially with having a lot more room, we can do a lot more looting, which is nice. Contacts will take you as well. Hope and find the item we're looking for, which is the all here. Take the nippers for now for some money. Some of the bags, some of some toolboxes. Give me it all because I need every single thing I can get my hands on. Let's look, search for some weapons too. Let's see here. 
Cool. Getting some wires too. I gotta check some PCs as well. We can do that on our way over to Ollie as well. There's a ton of them on the way. Or at least they should be. One thing that I want from there. Check the table here, because it does have some medical spawns, and maybe we get lucky. Or maybe we get nothing. <laughs> Couple more toolboxes than I'm used to seeing here. This is actually really nice. Come on, relay. We need that relay. And duct tape. I'll take that too. Okay, keep collecting all those. Check this one over here. I say the only thing we can really do is get a bigger rig, which would be the Zuck. But I don't expect to see that. The Ratchet we're going to need later as well. We'll need that for the upgrade on... Ooh, hey, there's the upgraded lavatory item right there. We'll need it for the... And leap pliers? Nope. Um, I keep getting distracted. We're, we're going to need it for the generator at some point. I forgot to check these back areas here, so we'll check these quickly. It's a helix. I don't need helixes right now. And nothing there. What about over here? We got anything we need? No, we do not. We got the loud guy coming in. Airdrops, man, I tell you, they are loud, loud, loud. Ooh, we're gonna need you as well. Keep grabbing everything we're needing. say even though the hermetic door alarm is super annoying i think airdrops take the cake i think they do because that thing is really annoying i could have taken the contacts off i've been a little quieter but might as well just keep moving but yeah that thing is very annoying any more pcs we really just want the wires from here but if i can find graphics cards this will be nice as well caps Caps and caps. Keep moving through. We'll, like I said, we'll just check all of the PCs in this area. Oh, he knows we're friendly. Rather do that early on than deal with fighting him on accident. And share some of the loots. If you're just watching this series and you're not sure why I keep saying not shooting scabs or whatever, uh, you get negative XP for shooting scabs. You know what, actually? I've decided we're starting, starting to take cables. Take those and we can do some crafting inside the hideout. But we need to find fuel as well, so we'll look out for that as well. We'll see if he actually comes this way or not. Oh yeah, you get negative uh, rep, and we prefer not to get negative rep with fence. We want to try to get him leveled up as high as possible, because there's more exits, and also later on, we get access to like extra items for returns from when we start using PMCs if we die, which would be nice. Caps, 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 caps. All right, nothing that we want there. Moving on. Gotta go into Ollie next. We'll check for all the items we need there. Really hoping for that relay. Take the herring with us. Now, granted, this would be a very good place to go as well for food. Because obviously, we've got Goshen, which has got a ton of food we can select from. So, at some point, we'll probably end up doing that. Come back to those uh, computers in a second. Cool. 
the box. Middle part, we'll take it. Propane. I don't need any propane for anything in the hideout anytime soon, so we're not going to worry about grabbing that. This is the area I need to look out for fuel containers if we're going to find them. We got nothing. Okay. Nothing on these shelves either. No fuel. Okay. Uh, we didn't check this area. This is going to be our exit. We can just... We'll go back that way in a second. Plus that, um, that scab was in that area anyway. There was a chance he already picked a clean. Granted, he probably could have picked clean of all of Ollie, but we will check everything anyway. The hoses will probably also be another obstacle for us, because, well, let's be honest, hoses are kind of hard to get get as well. Yeah, he's already checked all these PC blocks. All good, all good. Helixes, we got a gauge there, which is some money. Check all these as well. Hey, there's a host. Nice. Three more to go on those. Got nothing on you. Check these ones. No, I'm not seeing anything on there. What about over here? And just a scab. Okay. We actually are going to go to the tech stores, I think, because we need to get light bulbs. If I can find one more cord, then that will be nice for us because we can. I think you would check this as well. But if we get another cord, then we can just craft like eight wires, which would be really nice for us. No fuel here. Nothing on these shelves. I just need to check everything. There. Okay, so there's nothing in the shelving units in this area. What do we got back here? We got no box, no toolbox, no bag. All right, let's go over to the tech stores. Oh, you know what? He may not check the computers over here. Let's check these computers and see if we can find that last cord. Relays, we, if we get lucky, we should be able to find them in the tech zones. So we'll check those as well. I should take a motor because I will need those at some point. And since we have this extra space, let's take it. Because we'll need one of those for upgrading as well. And batteries. If we can find batteries early on, that would be... Hello. Well, that'd be very helpful to us. Batteries are very, very essential for us to try to find. Check this. You don't, you don't see them very often, so we need to look out for those. Because we need, at some point for the vents, we're going to need four of them. Way down the line, but still, we'll need them. Got bolts, and we got yes, lamps. We'll just take it for now. Computers. They move the other box. Oh, no, it's an extra box. Oh, huh, three gun cases. Here. We'll, we'll probably check those, actually. We get an extra gun. That's just more money. DVD. We got some wires. It'd be nice if we can get the next lighting up and upgraded. It'd be nice to have that done. Come on, cable. Or wires. Check this box. Okay. Moving on. We've got a few more computers to check and then we'll head over to the three tech stores. Open sesame. Got one on the ground. Let's see what we can find. Hard drive? No, thank you. We got pretty far in the last season, which I was very proud of. But we're going to try to push it along even more. Especially now that, you know, I'm still, still recovering from my surgery and everything. But we are still making progress. There's one of the sailors we need. Very nice. So, I am pushing the limit on our, our series. Both of them. To make sure we make progress. Progress, progress, progress. 
and caps. All right, is there a PC over here? There is not. Let's go to the front of the store. Should be a PC. Give the next one. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, is it this one here? Oh, dynamic looting. I had to remember that. <laughs> there's, there's a chance it won't be here. I have to keep that in mind. There is one here. We also got the, the two at the front that can possibly be there as well. CPU fan. We'll need that later on. We're also looking out for... This is for the future because we can't do it right away. But we are looking out for leap pliers and we're also looking out for the TNT block. Because we're going to need those for upgrading security level 2. But that's one of those tasks or one of those areas on the hideout that we're going to need to get um, endurance up first. Which, no big deal. We'll make it happen. We'll come back to Teco in just a second. A lot of shooting going on. Feels like that's on the other side of the mall, though. Come on. Give me the wires. Give me some light bulbs. And I'll take a relay. That kind of sounds close, actually. Oh, hello. Hello again. Okay. Light bulbs. We're going to drop this. Drop these. Let those guys fight. Especially now that we found these items we got. Let's move on. find the relay then we've got ourselves almost an upgraded area nothing on this side what about over here this one got picked clean for sure okay then we'll just check the last one over here rasmussen we could we could over to the, the uh, store germany but it is kind of putting us in the into the thick of things and i prefer to just stay kind of incognito for the first couple of uh, of rays, at least. Nothing there. No items on this desk. There's the relay. Very good. GPX will take you for some money. Okay. I'm happy with that. We found some good stuff. Let's get the heck out of here. And now we can head up to the back and take Emercom out. Gonna triple check to make sure that is our exit. Emercom. Okay, cool. Check along here. Nothing. We don't really have space left, but we can go. I think there's a scap. We can go to the back of Ollie and just triple check all those areas, see if he did search those or not. If he didn't, we'll just take whatever we can use. Let's go, go, go. One of these, um, one of these raids will end up finding some fuel. But once we get that fuel, it'll be very nice because we can start just crafting little things here and there and he'll help us, especially wires. Wires will be a nice upgrade to have. But we found one more light bulb and we found some wires this raid, so we did good. We did good. Nothing here. What's that? Is that Plex? That's Plex. We don't need plexiglass. in more wires we'll drop it for that drop this one as well as well as the ssd i'll need the ssd right now though it's just somewhere in the ssd if i get some items need yeah like, i'm gonna drop this take the duct tape instead oh yeah it looks like he didn't actually search this screw nuts i need you we can drop Metal parts for now. We don't need them at the moment. We will soon, though. But again, we know where to find those, so we can come back and grab those again. 
that's the other thing about this ta this uh this series like you gotta be prepared and think about what you're gonna do because of the scab limitation of like oh nice of what you're wearing um we can drop drop the food again i wanted to bring some food out here and there but find stuff like that we need it so you, you have to kind of prep for what you are able to you know loot what you're, you're equipped with obviously you can find dead pot bodies and swap out with certain things but even like dead bodies or scabs or players is not guaranteed like we've we've had it multiple times where there were raids we just didn't see any dead bodies it's just super weird granted dead bodies there i feel like i don't want to search that because it looks like a lot of people have died trying to search some bodies <laughs> why don't we move on <laughs> Just in case. We're full up anyway. We don't need to loot anything else. We can just go into the next raid and loot there. Let's go. Let's go. Plus, we got really lucky early on. We found the uh, well, at least one more gas analyzer. We need one more for the other task for therapists. But we found one sailor as well, so we need two more for there. And I think next episode we'll probably go into a place where we can locate the remaining sailors and get our first level. We're getting there. Looks good. Looks clean. And my friends, we are out of here. All right, not bad. Let's see what we can sell quickly. Now we got a couple items we can sell. We can sell that, sell the phone, sell the gauge there. Gonna need the sewing kit. I think everything else I need to hold on to. Yeah, so 87,000 will definitely work out for us so we can get this examined. There we go, we got the RFI, RFID readers, got those done. Still got some other stuff. I think I'm gonna keep the T20 bag. Yeah, I think T20 bag will actually be okay to keep. Sell the contacts, sell the mask. And then we'll come over to fence. Oh, actually, we could do this. Take the gun off. Take this off. Sell the first parts over to mechanic. And then we can sell the physical gun over to fence. Boom. Got that done over there. All right, next thing is we're going to go back to the hideout. Because like I said, I believe we can upgrade two places now. Should be able to upgrade two things. Or at least get started. We can, yes. We got nutrition. Nutrition is up and running. We're going to need a lot more for the next one. Lavatory level two. That is going to be a thing to work on. But the first lavatory is ready, which I'm very happy about. We got to get water collector number one and start looking for all these other parts as well. We're going to start needing some screws now, some keck tape, and even more hoses. Which is going to be fun. Let's see what we can craft inside of here. We can start crafting our own hoses. Does take wires, so that's the only negative benefit of that. Or negative outcome, I should say. The water collector, how are we looking? Gotta get some more screw nuts still, so I gotta find some more of the the hoses as well. So we got a little while to go, but it's still looking good. We got about 11 minutes left on the shooting range, so that'll be ready for us in the next episode. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, I can't really show you anything in the overall, because the overall is literally gonna have nothing, as, as it should. Let's get all this refreshed, make it look all clean and nice. There we go. Not a bad start. Not a bad start whatsoever. I'm very, very happy with the start. We got a lot of good things here going for us, and we're going to make even more progress in the next episode. We can actually go over to therapist here. And therapist, I can turn in the first one for shortage. There we go. First one down. So, ladies and gentlemen, that being said, that is going to be the end of the first episode of the Scavenger Series Season 2. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you're excited about for, for the future. Don't forget, let's try to go for a thousand likes on the series and see how far we can get. I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.